Hi, what's up guys? In this new After Effects tutorial, I will show you how to create a template where you can reveal your logo or text in a nice way and giving it this snowy look. By the way, you can download the advanced template to generate an amazing winter opener with advanced controls. I will be more than happy if you subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this. Enjoy! In a new After Effects projects file, let's create a new composition, size HDTV 1920 by 1080, let's rename it text. Right click, create a new text, type whatever you want. For example here I typed my text, recenter it, and after that drag your composition into it to create a new composition, rename it container, the same size duration 10 seconds. Right click on the layer to create a transition effect, linear wipe, change the angle to minus 45. On the first frame of the transition completion settings, create a keyframe with a value of 100%. At 4 seconds, you can create the second one, for example, the value 0%. After that, with Ctrl D, you can duplicate the linear wipe and change now the angle by adding plus 180 to be the reversed angle 135. After that, select the two keyframes of the second linear wipe and choose Keyframe Assistant Time Reverse. Delay the keyframes a little bit to see the stripe. And you can add the feather from the linear wipe settings, both effects. This is the result. Now it's time to create the distort effect turbulent displays. You can change the value, for example, like this. The size will be 5, and for example, the amount will be 300. Turbulent Smooth as Displacement Type. Check your animation and you have a result like this. Now it's time to create a little bit of animation on the offset turbulence. That's why we'll create the first keyframe at the first frame with the same value. But for example, at the end of the animation, we added 300. This is the final effect. Now we'll add another effect from the blur category, the CC vector blur. And that will add a fiery effect or a fiery aspect to our animation. We can change the type of the vector blur to perpendicular and the amount as you see here from the 30s and you can add the angle offset to for example 29. Now with Ctrl D we duplicate the layer and we'll change the color of the new layer for example red and we select uh, three effects for example linear wipe 2 and the other two effects and remove them and we check for example the first layer now it's time to give it another color so we'll generate a fill effect for example here i choose the yellow color i switch the two layer i delete the red layer i will have this effect now i will work on the red layer I will add a bevel alpha to give it a little bit of volume. And after that, I will add CC plastic to add a little bit of a glossiness and light effect. It's up to you to choose the right values to give it a 3D look. Now with Ctrl D, I'll duplicate the layer the red layer I mean. After that I'll rename it Snow, the new one, I'll push it in the front. Now I will work to create the snow particles. To do that, I keep only the linear wipe effect and after that I'll add a fill effect with a white color or just a little bit bluish, the color of the snow. After that with the layer selected, I will add the CC ball action effect. On the scatter effect I will add the value of 1. After that, I'll add a CC vector blur again. 
I will change the value, the type to perpendicular and the amount around 10. The result will be this text with a snowy look. Now I select the red layer and duplicate it. I will push the new copy to the front. Then I will use that layer as an alpha inverted mat. I select the new mask. I will try to push it to the bottom a little bit. Like that I will reveal the snow. As you can see here, the snow layer is created or following the text animation using the same wipe. But in real life, the snow is created gradually by the falling of the flakes. I will try to simulate that. To do that, first of all, I will try to play on the edges of the snow, as you can see at the hard edges. That's why I add the CC ball action again to my mask layer. And the CC vector blur. Now, as I adjusted the snow edges, I will try to work on the snow creation. To do that, I will go back to my CC ball action. I'll create the first keyframe on the ball size, for example, 0 at 4 seconds, and maybe after 2 seconds, I will increase the size. The result will be the snow appearing step by step or gradually as it's simulated by the falling of the flakes. The result looks fine for me, but as you can see you can play with a lot of settings to have like an amazing look. But for now I will go back to my text, because as it's a template, I will go back to my text and I will change the text, for example here I will write winter, maybe I will increase the size and change the font. This font will be nice, maybe I will give it a little bit of thickness. It's more bold. I'll go back and as you can see you have your word on your text. You can push even things further by adding your logo. By the way you can download the advanced template to generate an amazing winter opener with advanced controls. I will be more than happy if you subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this. Enjoy!